Pool inspections, they're more common this time of year all across the state. In fact, DEAC checks over 7,000 pools two times unannounced. News 19's Rachel Ripp explains. Pool precautions. DHEC is required to keep swimming areas in check throughout the summer with inspections. As of recent, one pool in particular in an Irmo neighborhood fell out of line. According to this report from DHEC, Chelsea Park's pool was cited for high water levels, an unsecure ladder, chemicals being added during hours of operation, and the emergency phone not working. DHEC uses specialized equipment for these inspections such as the actual photometer that we use for testing, um, as well as um, some sample vials so that we can add the water directly in. We'll actually take the um, water sample that we collect from the pool side, add it into our cuvettes um, or our little vials for um, testing. And then what we'll do is we'll actually add a reagent to test for different parameters, whether that be chlorine, pH, or cyanuric acid. High levels of these chemicals or even low levels can cause itchy eyes and a skin rash. Right now with COVID, monkeypox, and other sicknesses being passed around, how does this impact pools? The ones monkeypox and or COVID-19, both of those um, have been shown to react to chlorine and be killed off at at least a one parts per million chlorine level. In other words, there's no need to worry. Since these aren't waterborne illnesses, and since DHEC explains chlorine acts as bleach, now that this neighborhood pool has been fixed, residents say things are back to normal. We did go up there Friday, and I mean, there was no issues, no concerns. Um, the pool maintenance company was up there checking things out and checking the levels, so I definitely feel safe. But it's up to you to be proactive about your summer pool safety. Reporting in Irmo, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. And tonight, DHEC telling us that 25% of pools are closed with uh, routine summer inspections. In the Midlands, closure reasons are primarily because of chlorine levels, not logging regular chemistry readings and pH levels. Also now, DHEC monitors South Carolina's beaches. The agency takes regular water samples at more than 120 sites along the coast. When high levels of bacteria are found, DHEC issues advisories for that beach. There are currently more than a dozen long-term swimming advisories on beaches due to bacteria that can make you sick. Swimming is not recommended in those areas.